Oh, hello everyone. It's Susie Crew again from Esoteric Trading Solutions. I hope you're all well. Uh, live life according to the way you want to live it. Be kind to everyone. Be kind to yourself. Be empathetic. And I hope you've all done really well at your trading. I just wanted to um, cover just something I saw. A couple of cryptocurrency polls. Um, they poll obviously investors and traders and people that take positions on just read what they thought was going to be the cryptocurrencies that were going to do well for 2018. Uh, the first poll I found was on this link here, uh, strawpoll.de, uh, that, that link there, and they polled uh, 38,499 people. And of the first cryptocurrency that came in uh, where people said it was going to be the best performer was ETN, which is a, a Electronum, which I thought it was an absolute joke because I've already done a review on an Electronum. And um, essentially it was issued a cent and basically I thought it was the biggest scam I've ever read. It was basically a cut and paste job for the white paper. It was basically mining um, mining on your, your mobile phone. Uh, apparently when they did the ICO, the technology, the prototype wasn't even working. It was delayed. There was one issue after another. There was a lot of hype uh, read this um, re-ETN. And I just thought it's the biggest scam I've ever seen. So have a look at my review. I did it on YouTube, and you can have a look at that. And I just can't believe that people are thinking that this thing's going to perform next year. Uh, I, I I think it'd be I'd be amazed if it's still around in two years' time. To be honest, oh, just need some water. It's very hot here in Melbourne. It's about 38 degrees. So of this poll, nearly uh, nearly half. The, the people that were polled said that ETN is going to perform next year. As I said, it got issued a percent. I think it's down at two cents at the moment. But honestly, I wouldn't even put half a cent into this. I wouldn't put anything into it. It's a scam. It's crap. It was a cut and paste job. It was just full of fluff and waffle and garbology. There was no stats, no business plan. The white paper was just atrocious. Um, it just had long, stupid, fluffy words. There was no SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, little threats. It kept saying we're going to take over the mobile phone market, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, but there was no stats, no nothing. Didn't talk about how it was going to get their clients or anything. It was just absolute garbology. Um, anyway, the second one that um, they uh, people that were polled said was ADA, which I think is Card Cardana. Neo, Ripple, IOTA, Dash, BQX, LISC, uh, VTC, OMG, and the like. And as you can see, the total of that poll was, oh, now it's 37887. Okay, so it's moving all the time. I had it at 38499, but anyway, this is when I printed it off. It was that, but it's probably, probably is now 38499 because you can actually go in there and put in your own stuff. So have a look at that. Also, a second poll I found was from Reddit, and on Reddit they um, also polled people to, to ask them who they think what cryptocurrency is going to work the best, uh, is going to do the best next year. And of that was um, Litecoin, as you can see, is 17%. Uh, what else? Ethereum. So I was looking at the higher ones, obviously. Uh, what else we got here? Vertacoin, um, Arc. And oh, also Cardano was there again, and just a couple of others. But so I've actually got a list here, and I was going to look at the uh, just the first 13 or so. Um, again, Electronum, I said, and I've already done a video on this absolute scam. I wouldn't even waste my time with it. Just the paper was garbage. White white paper was absolute crap and again don't forget these white papers don't get audited they can say anything they like it was a cut and paste job it's a scam 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 that's all I'll say it's just garbage so have a look at the review on that that I did uh, probably a month ago on YouTube um, the second coin was Litecoin now I do like Litecoin I'm happy to review that it is they call it the silver Bitcoin it is faster, it has more storage, um, they do more transactions, they can do a transaction within about two and a half minutes. So I do like Litecoin, it has its own miners, so it doesn't have the problem that Bitcoin and Ethereum do with, with the Chinese miners that can do what they like. Litecoin has its own miners. So Litecoin I agree with, I quite like Litecoin, and I'll do a proper review on that. Uh, Cardano, ADA, I don't know anything about that one, so I'll definitely have a... A look at that because I am interested in that uh, particularly. 
IOTA, I don't like IOTA. Uh, there is problems with the Tangled technology. As I said last night, I had a friend trying to transfer uh, some cryptocurrency from IOTA from its wallet to the exchange, try to do a transaction. It still hasn't hit 24 hours later, and I've read uh, a lot of different things from other people saying the technology is really bad. Um, you try and do anything with the technology, it's just garbage. So I want to review that. Uh, Vertacoin, I don't know anything about, so I'll have a look at that. I'll review that. Also, what came up there on there, thank God, is Ripple because Ripple is one of my favourite cryptocurrencies. I love it. I don't. I think it's still very cheap. I don't care what people say about market capitalisation because it's a simple way of valuing a coin. Very, very simple way of valuing a coin. Also, as I've repeated and repeated again, Ripple has burn. The more transactions they do, the more they burn their coin, which you're never going to know how much is on issuance unless they tell you in terms of the coin itself. Ripple, again, deals with 100, uh, you know, deals with wholesale transactions, 5.2 billion uh, currency transactions, swap transactions, interest rate swap transactions, foreign currency transactions. They do 2,000 within a couple of seconds or three seconds. Again, they've just got American Express as, as a new client, so I don't need to say any more about Ripple. They're a proven time and time again. They have money, they have business, they have a strategy. They're getting more and more clients on board as we speak every day. So again, I've done a lot of YouTubes on Ripple. I still cannot believe where it is, but you know, we've got a bunch of dickheads out there that go, you know, look at the price and look at the um, you know, the market issuance. It's not that simple when you value a company or an equity or a bond. You've got to look at the forward uh, mechanics of the business. You know, the forward cash flows, the forward you know revenue that's coming into the business, not just a third of the balance sheet, which is what capitalisation is. The rest of the balance sheet is made up of assets and liabilities. Sure, you can have something with very low issuance, buy you know, a price and it looks cheap from the market cap, but it isn't cheap if you've got debt levels which are higher and you've got no assets. It means the company's bankrupt. So, you know, I've argued with these people before and they're a bunch of dickheads and they have no idea. And they tell me I've got no idea. Get real. Uh, you know, I've been in the market since 87. I think I know, I think I know a thing or two, that's for sure. Anyway, um, Ethereum came up on there. I don't like Ethereum. I don't think Ethereum has a business. Um, they've got a problem with their technology, something about the multi-signature wallets, which people uh, need when they do an ICO so that some of the bosses don't, uh, you know, nick off with the money. Uh, their, their transactions are very slow. They can only do one or two transactions within 15 seconds. And I've just read something now that a new ICO is coming to the market that's going to tell people how it, how easy it is to set up your own blockchain. Now, if every ICO can do its own blocks, blockchain, Ethereum doesn't have a business. That's the thing. You know, if you can easily set up your own blockchain, you're not going to need Ethereum to rely on Ethereum's, uh, you know, Ethereum's technology. I mean, they basically sold their technology to every other ICO out there. But the reality is, Ethereum will not have a business going forward. Nulls, which is this new ICO that's just come to the market, it's coming, basically uh, is setting up to how easily you can set up and do a blockchain and create a coin. So if, that, that, if that's what it is, going forward, Ethereum will not have a business. That, that's an absolute fact. Um, the platform was set up not as a currency. It was set up, set up as a platform. And the thing is, if, if it is easy to set up your own blockchain, like a do it thing, do it, you know, how to do it, then, you know, they don't really, they're not going to have a business ab absolutely not going forward. And as a transactional business, they're too slow, way too slow. But I will look at um, Ethereum. I'm quite happy to do that. I'll look at that. Also, like Ethereum and Bitcoin, they've got miners' problems. Ethereum and Bitcoin use the same miners. The Chinese miners that mine 70 to 75 percent of Bitcoin's coins and Ethereum's coins. And those guys control the market and make them centralized in that sense because they can decide what they want to do. If you don't pay enough for this and that, whatever, they can control the market. Now, don't forget, we've also had another ICO out there, Neuromation, that wants to compete uh, with Ethereum and Bitcoin for the miners. In other words, they're going to pay the miners more because they need their grunt and their processing power 
and they've said that they're going to pay more than what Bitcoin and Ethereum pay in a day, which is seven or eight dollars a day US, to use their grunt power because they're in artificial intelligence, and uh, they've basically said it's going to be a lot cheaper than uh, paying, uh, you know, a lot cheaper than paying um, what is it called uh, Amazon for four dollars an hour. And that, that's basically Neuromation who just came out, who's coming out with an ICO. The Neuromation, as I said, are artificial intelligence and they need the computer processing power of the miners because artificial intelligence takes an enormous amount of computation and computer processing time. And, and it's very, very expensive. Now, next year, uh, Neuromation actually said they're going to go on their own blockchain because they're obviously competing with Ethereum for the miners. Now, the miners, you know, are basically going to go to the highest price. That's a fact. Okay, on that list as well, NEO came out as one of the best cryptocurrency performers for next year, 2018. I'll have a look at NEO. There are a couple of things with NEO I don't like either, but I'll review that. Happy to do that. LISC, I don't know anything about LISC. I have seen that a couple of times, so I am interested in looking at LISC. Um, Dash, which is, you know, performing tonight. I've actually sold Dash tonight around uh, 750, I think, 755. It's the only um, cryptocurrency today after all the market had sold down 10 to 15 percent. Dash was actually up, but I've actually sold Dash. Um, has performed very well, and obviously the circulation, it's only got about, uh, what, about eight, 8 million coins or something in circulation out of 18 million or something like that. But the, the truth of the matter with Dash, they sell themselves as a privacy coin. And again, Dash is not private. You know, I know they sell themselves as a privacy coin and they can do transactions fast, but there is a lot of evidence out there to say that they are not private. Now, the reality is, the reason why they're not private is because the IRS, the I think the Americans, their tax, uh, the tax authorities, which is different to what we call them here in Australia, the internal, I think it's Internal Revenue Service, basically followed up some people that were avoiding tax and they had Dash's coins and they were able to track them down. Now, the truth of the matter is, if Dash is private, how could they do that? And apparently they had um, some technology where they could unscramble the privacy technology of Dash's. Now, my understanding that also happened with Monaro. Uh, and there was also some study done of Monaro where, uh, you know, different transactions could be identified between 2010 and 2014. Now, I have done a YouTube on this, but, you know, there's also other crypto identities out there that are very well uh, known, which I'm not going to name here, but they're also saying the same thing, that Dash is not private. And I, so it's not just me saying that, because the reality is how does the Internal Revenue Service know who's holding Dash's coins? And they basically forced them to pay tax and forced them to give to give those coins them because they had outstanding tax bills. So, I mean, obviously, the IRS is not going to tell you how they do it, but they have the technology to find the source of the owner uh, if they hold Dash coins or, or Monaro's. So the reality is the, those coins are not private. Um, and I think it has something to do with the, their end of in, encryption, but also the way they scramble the identity of those coins in the, in the technology, the IRS has unscrambled technology, if you want to call it that, to find out the identity and the owners of those coins. Um, 11th on that list was ARC. I don't know anything about ARC, which I'd like to look at. Another one I'd like to look at is Dogecoin. Don't know anything about that. And BQX. If there's anything else on those lists, um, on those lists um, that you'd like me to do a review on, I'm happy to because there's some I don't know anything about and I'm happy to have a look at it, uh, just some of those there. But um, yeah, look, I hope you get something out of this, uh, happy to do it. Um, I, I do have um, a donations, a uh, couple of codes on my YouTube, would love a donation or two. I work really hard and, um, you know, thanks very much for listening. I do appreciate it. And, um, and I look forward to talking to you again. And uh, please be healthy, happy and safe. Thank you.